Arena Sabalenka versus Maria Zachary is the first semi-final for Indian Wells for the ladies for 2023. And both players have had different roads to get to the semi-finals. Zachary entered the tournament as the number seven seed, and we get a buy in the first round. In the second round, she take on the unseeded Rogers, who'd beaten some really big players at these events before. But this was no problem for Zachary, and Zachary would have to fight to get through in three, two, six, six, four, six, love. In the third round, she take on Kalanina, the 27 seed. And again, after dropping the first set, Zachary would have to fight, eventually winning in three, three, six, 6 6 2 6 4. In the fourth round, she'd take on the 17 seed Plishkova, who had just beaten the 11 seed Kudamatova in the previous round. And again, Sakura would have to fight to get through this match in three, getting through 6 4 5 7 6 3. In the quarterfinals, Sakura played Kvitova, the number 15 seed, a player that she had played many times before. And after going down a set and a break, Sakura would fight through in three, 4 6 7 5 6 1 to get to the semis. Sabalenka started the tournament off as the number two seed, and we get a buy in the first round. In the second round, she take on Redina, but this posed no problem for Sabalenka, getting through in straight sets. 6-2, six, 6 love. In the third round, she was supposed to play Serenko, who had just beaten Vekic, the 29th seed in the previous round, but Serenko pulled out last minute, and Sabalenka got a walkover win. In the fourth round, she would take on the number 16 seed, Krajikova, the only player to beat Sabalenka this season. And after dropping the second set, Sabalenka would again have to fight to win the match, this time winning in three, 6-3, six, 2-6, three, six, six, to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Sabalenka would take on the number 16 seed Goff and had some very close matches with Goff in the past. But this match, Sabalenka looked amazing, winning easily in straight sets, 6-4-6 six, six, love to get to the semis. These two have played seven times before with Sabalenka leading the head-to-head 4-3, -head but Zachary has won their last two matches over the last couple of seasons. If Zachary's going to win this one, she needs to get off to a better start than she has for this tournament. She got away with it against some of the players this week, especially against Kvitova. She got away with a slow start, but she needs to get that first set and really put Sabalenka under pressure. If Sabalenka's going to win this one, she just needs to keep doing what she's doing. What she did against Goff was so, so good. She played so aggressive, and everything's going in at the moment when she hits it. So push around Zachary. That's what's going to work if she wants this win. This is going to be a very interesting semi-final because Zachary's won their last two matches, but she hasn't played this version of Sabalenka like we saw against Goff. Goff didn't know what to do. I think Zachary's going to struggle as well, and Sabalenka gets through in straights. But it's going to be a close straight set, but I think overpowering Zachary is what Sabalenka will do. Let me know down in the comments below. What do you think is going to happen?